I'm Ollie Taylor, Sales and Marketing Manager for Williams Jet Tenders. We're here at our UK HQ in Oxfordshire, where we build, test, design and make all of our Williams Jet Tenders. We'd like to give you a tour of the factory, so let's head inside to show you some more. So this space is our R&D workshop where all Williams tenders begin their life. We spend a lot of time here testing, prototyping, developing new ideas in this workshop here. We have all of the tools you require to do that. So we'll test things from hull shapes, jet pumps, upholstery, throttle units, helm shapes, and we spend a lot of time on ergonomics. So making sure that the steering wheel fits nicely in your hand and the throttle controls close by and you have enough space as you're sitting down. So a lot of that happens here. Once we're happy that we've got that working prototype correct, it will then go back into the design office for the full 3D CAD, the model surfacing, before it then moves down the development process further towards production. On first glance, this might not be the most interesting part of the tour, the offices. But in fact, this design office is where a lot of the Williams magic happens. Everything from initial ideas, planning, research and design all happen here. So we've shown you the design department, the design office, the R&D facility, which is where all of our products start their life at the very beginning. But this is where production starts. So this is our molding facility. In the last 18 months, we've made a big investment to bring all of this in house so we can fully control our quality. We're using resin infused mouldings here with silicon bags, so it's reusable silicon bags, which is really good for the environment. Um, it means we're reducing our consumable waste. But the big benefit of resin infusion is the quality control that we have, so it allows us to create a nice, stiff, lightweight laminar, which is really important in our products where we're making high performance jet tenders. So once the hulls and decks have been moulded in the moulding facility at the top of the factory, they come down to the start of our assembly, which is mould prep. So all of the hulls, the decks, the helms will have all of the holes that need making for the skin fittings drilled out and all of those stainless steel items like tie downs, bow eyes and hatches will get fitted. Um, you can see in the background we're fitting a ride plate which is part of the jet pump assembly and once they go from here they'll move into stage one engineering. So stage one is where all the heavy lifting takes place. We will drop the engine in onto the stringer which had already been bonded into the hull at the mould prep stage. Uh, things like the drive shaft will get laser aligned, we'll fit our cooling system and the exhaust system, the battery. All of the major engineering components that make up the boat will be fitted at stage one. To ensure the main production line keeps moving as efficiently as fast as possible, we build a lot of the, the kind of secondary components offline in sub-assembly areas. So what you can see Neil here, he's, he's putting together a turbojet helm at the minute where he'll take all of the raw components, the steering column, the steering wheel, and also if this customer has specified any things like chart plotters, VHFs, all of that will get attached at this point. This is another one of our sub-assembly areas within the factory where we're taking the niggly, quite complicated, time-consuming jobs away from the main production line and doing them in their own separate cell and then supplying back to production. So as you can see here, we've got some fuel tanks that are currently being pressure tested to make sure there's no leaks. We've got some batteries on the bench here which are being charged and make sure that they can hold their charge before they go into a tender. Exhaust cans in that box over there which will have the final components added to them. So lots of the tricky bits that take time to build are done in separate batches within our sub-assemblies and then supplied back to the production line. So what we've got here is a Sportjet 395 that's finished its stage one engineering. It's had its engine installed and the exhaust and bits of the wiring harness and it's been lifted into the bonding tool. So from here, Pete will get the deck that matches with this hull. He'll apply Crestima along all of the edges to provide that bond between hull and deck then he will lift the deck on and glue the two together. So here we are at stage two engineering, where the final major components are fitted, things like the fuel tank, the rest of the wiring harness, the pump and bathing ladder if you've selected that as an option. Also the main bits of the wiring between the engine and the helm station that will get fitted later on uh, are run at this point. 
So a big part of final fit is the testing process that all of our tenders go through. So we've got a 100 acre test lake down the road where a lot of the boats will go for a full dynamic sea trial, but everything else that doesn't go down there will go on the test pond here, which allows us to run the boat through the full RPM range on the engine and make sure it's performing as it should, but also most importantly check that there's no leaks, uh, as on a boat that's incredibly important. So we're now getting towards the final finishing touches of a tender coming to life. It's gone through all the previous manufacturing stages and we're now at final fit out. So key components like the tube will get fitted at this stage, the upholstery will all get placed on the tender and the final control connections like the steering system and the throttle will get attached. This section is the main warehouse where we store all of the raw components that go into making the finished tenders you've been looking at. Uh, at any one point we have up to £5 million worth of inventory stored within this building and you can see from the vast array of bins we've got here we've got a whole bunch of different stuff. So you've got some through hull fittings, you've got door latches, you've got half skin fittings, uh, you name it we've got it in here basically. So we're here on our very own test lake, which is a two minute drive from our factory. And this allows us to test in proper conditions all of the tenders above four and a half meters. They will all come down here for a dynamic sea trial to ensure the engine's achieving full RPM, the steering works as it's supposed to, the handling is correct, and most importantly, that there's no leaks on board before it goes to a customer. This is also the hallowed test ground where all of William's prototype products come for their rigorous testing process before they move on in the design phase. So over the years we must have spent thousands of hours testing boats on this very lake, making sure they work as they're designed. So this is the dispatch area, which is the final part of the journey of a tender moving through our factory. So all of the tenders will be delivered from production into this area where it will then go through its final delivery inspection. Any spares that the customer had ordered, like pumps or covers, all of that stuff will get put with the tender at this point, packaged up, as you can see, on stillages or in crates, and then it will go out onto its transport and out to its final home. So that's it for the factory tour. We hope you enjoyed the brief overview of how Williams tenders are put together. Um, we're planning on making more of these videos, so if there's anything in particular you would like to see, please do put it in the comments down below. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe.